a lot of preparations before I went live. Just wait a few seconds before I start. Some people in here. Wonder who's going to be the first. Oh, Manny's first. Not working today, Manny? Or on a break? Mike, welcome. Thanks for joining me. Got a couple of days growth today. Great to see you both here. Any more going to make a comment to let me know you're about? Jay Alfred, welcome. Yeah, more your alarm call, Mike. Hello, Leo. Thanks, to, thanks for joining us. Good to see you all here. <coughs> How's everybody's weekend then? Hello, John. Colin Steele, nice to see you here. I know you said uh, the other day that do your best to get here. Very much appreciated. Mike H. Hello, mate. Tony Tony. Nice to see you, mate. Hope everybody's good. Having a good weekend. Having some uh, great shaves. Right. We'll start with the most important thing before we start shaving. I've got uh, two ciders. Hello, Nomeo. Thanks for joining us, mate. Two ciders. Got this one, which I've heard good things about. Angry Orchard. It's a hard cider. It's gluten free, so. And I've got this uh, new American cider. <laughs> I suppose. So uh, good, good to see if good few people are here. Uh, I just watched your uh, video, Nomeo. Did. Uh, did you not try a shim in that uh, ATT razor? Just to see if it made a difference. And you go all the way to Belgium and you go to eat ribs. You can have ribs at home, can't you? Right, which do we, which do we want then? We want the Aspals? Or do we want the uh, Angry Orchard? Not fast. Can you make it quick though? Because my mouth is really dry. Oh, Adam's want aspal. Adam wants aspals. Oh, Billy. Blind man shaves. Long time no speak. Uh, Tony wants uh, angry orchard. Ah, loving the ribs. Good to see you, Z. Oh, Jim Coe's here. Hello, Jimbo. Nice to see you, mate. Ah, Billy's in te uh, te Texas. Right, so I think we've only got one vote for each. Drink. Ah, Sierra Papa. Oh, we've got two for Aspals, so let's go for Aspals then. I am parched. Yeah, oops, that one no me. 
That's the uh, organic one. Getting a bit posh. Oh, I love that sound. Blow slow head. Wait, wait. I'll have a sip of this and then we'll go through uh, what we're going to be using today. What's Fireball? Oh yeah. Do you want to sip? Put your lips up to the camera. <laughs> Cinnamon whiskey. Oh. in front of people, that's, uh, that's bad manners. Right, what we're going to be using, I've chosen the razor and the brush, but I want you to choose the soap. If you saw my uh, unboxing yesterday. Yeah, that one will have to stay angry for a bit. The razor I'm going to be using is the uh, Slim Adjustable. With the, the new blade, I've got the Nasset from Gillette, and uh, oh, Mabu's already gone for the uh, tobacco tweed, which is the Lather Brothers Irish Cubana Cubano, which is a uh, tobacco and tweed, fantastic scent, and the brush I'm using is the. That darn Rob brushy that I won. Synthetic has got a short loft. I think it's about 20, 24 mil. Hello Robin. Nice to see you mate. Not to uh, see you for a while. Tony Tony wants that one as well. The other ones I'm gonna may use. Is the uh, another La the Brothers the Miami Mojito, which is mint, basil, and lime. Great scent. Uh, this soap, which has come in that plain tin, which is the uh, Finnish soap, the coffee one. Another tobacco one, which is the uh, Elixir Vanilla and Tobacco. And hopefully I've got enough uh, sort of aftershaves and balms to, to go with it. Post-shave I'm going to have Slayer's Lemon Witch Hazel. If you choose the soap, I've got the, uh, the matching balm here. Sledhead wants the coffee one. Manny wants the uh, tweed and tobacco. That seems to be the front runner at the minute. Oh, is that uh, Lopez Steel wants that one as well? Oh, well, here we go. Then. Has anybody else out there tried the? Uh, Yeah, it's um, it's really stuck up there. <laughs> I've got tape on it. I've got blue tack. I've got uh, two suction cups. Two suction cups on the own are too small to hold it up on the own. So never mind uh, sled head. I'll, I'll use all the soaps in the future video. So. That one's dropped on the floor. Yeah, watch the um, watch the uh, video from um, Michael Friedberg using that uh, coffee soap. It's got a sort of a cocoa, sort of a chocolate kind of scent to it as well. So I think we're going for this one, aren't we? With the 
I mentioned balm, aftershave balm. Makes it a little bit easier for me. Okay. I'm going to use my scuttle today, but I'm not going to use it as a scuttle, I'm just going to use it as a bowl. Yeah, that's the one I'm using. Um, yeah, and like, yeah, that's it, I think. I think we're sorted now. Also, what I, what I haven't shown you yet is the uh, the old prickly pear pre-shave soap. Hello, Chris, mate. Nice to see you. Which is tiny now. So just wet my face and put that on first. Um, if anybody's expecting Kevy today, I've already spoken to him. And, uh, He's got family around, so he'll be, he's having a meal with them. He said he'll, uh, he'll catch up, catch up later. So, hello Kevy, if you're watching this back on the, the Suffolk Shave On Demand. I think I saw Mr. Marshall's name there, so hello mate, good to see you. Those that have got the um, PAA cube, does it, has it got any scent to it? I know it's got menthol in it, like this one has. I'm just wondering if it's uh, any different than this one I've got here. I'm just wondering if he's just, um, if it's the same formula, but he's just, just in a different shape. Shouldn't sweat, it's got menthol in it. it, should keep it cool. Yeah. And my eyes nearly popped out of my head. Sorry if I'm not central. Well, I've watched um, Paul H's video. How he done that, I don't know. Just wet on the brush. If you think I look silly, you don't have to watch. I'm not forcing you to watch. This is a lovely, lovely, fresh, bright green scent. Of along the lines of the um, Cre uh, Creed Green Irish Tweed. All oh, right, so it is the same then, but it's just uh, just in a different shape. Just. When people, I've seen people use it, it just looks clumsy to hold. Uh, the scent is sort of four, not a strong, strong scent. Stick 
got on a face. Not seen that many people using the uh, the brush eye one, David. The uh, that down rob from the uh, Facebook group I'm a member of. No, it should be enough. I think. Let's just take the last of the remnants around the sides. Directly over the top of the pre shave. No worries, Dave. As I said, people can pop in and pop out whenever they please. then this weekend. Oh, Dave's at work. Had a chat with uh, Gazza last night since he shaves. So I think he'd be popping in at some point. Adam's had a Great three parser. What did you use, uh, Adam? Ah, Damien's here. Nice to see you, mate. I'm good, thanks. Yeah, apologies for that. You can't fast forward a live shave. Uh, it's the Prozo and the R41. together. Cheers mate. I don't know if this video will be a little bit shorter today as I'm not doing sort of like three passes and a touch up. Oh Chris has been on the old stones opening a couple of razors. I'm applying this soap. More glass, and I can feel the, the menthol from the pre shave underneath. I think the uh, temperature is going to be dropping drastically tonight. music but the old buzz cocks. It's good enough I think. Nice sheen to it. Sorry I've shown you in the camera and uh, looking in the mirror myself just to check. It's good thick cushiony slick now whilst that's on, leave it on for a minute. I load the blade and the razor. Nice 
Those big blobs of wax on here. Ah, Jim's off. Nice to see you, mate. Nice for joining me. Nice for you to join me. Now, what should I go on? Let's go on seven, six. See that there? Probably not. Yeah, the dot in between the five and the seven. <clears throat> You know, I was uh, playing about with the uh, Mitchell's, not Mitchell's Wolf, that, uh, Williams. I'd seen, uh, no, Jim's gone, I can, I should have said before he left, but uh, see his two videos with his experimenting with the Williams soap. And I uh, saw Dom Youngner's video on the Colgate soap. Yeah, I find the uh, slip to be a bit more smooth than the, um, the Fat Boy. The synthetic brushes you can go straight in with, you haven't got to worry about uh, breaking it in or anything like that, or soaking it up. I know uh, Paul has got a uh, twin brother. So I'm not sure if he had help from him or um, he's a wizard uh, editing. my attention anyway. No barrow I use um, hair gel. And, uh, sorry Nomeo that the uh, N Nivea shave stick didn't work out for you mate. Yeah, I think you have to uh, stick with the natural hair brushes. No, use it for a couple of weeks, so I'll get used to it. I don't know, President done hair products. Yeah, I was going to say, maybe it was um, maybe too much soap and not enough water with the uh, Nivea shave stick. But as you said, if it was um, strong scented, that sort of maybe a factor. Hopefully they <clears throat> might bring out a sensitive one, as you said. Yay, since he's here.
Never mind, you're here now, mate. Good to see you. Uh, Blind Man Shaves. Hello Josh. Oh, yeah, I sent you a couple of pictures of the um, Gillette uh, toggle. I don't know if you got them. I know you've been having problems with your phone. Not a subscriber to uh, Josh's shave channel, it's uh, Josh Shaves, I believe. Go check him out. Now, I've recently talking about people on YouTube, a new person, um, that I saw actually on Instagram. Uh, Johnny Johansson. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check his channel out later on. He's got a good few videos up. Johnny Johansson. There's a plenty of slickness on my face. Come here. And just run the faucet. Can I grab them? So you can be seeing my, the top of my head for a little bit. Decided on the uh, the Lala Brothers Irish Cabano. Yeah, I'll see that, Dave. Thanks for that. Check that out after the shave. scent is sort of a nice scent for all year, all year round I think. Certainly brightens up your day. I said I was going to use my skull didn't I and I'm face laughing like a dope. Sorry skull. Maybe another time. <laughs> Better have another drink because, um, cheers, no, yet. <coughs> yeah, as I said, I was uh, playing around with um, the Williams mug soap. The NASA, what was what we were talking about, uh, Gary. Yeah, it's a nice brush. As I said, it's a short loft. Um, it's not the softest knot. It's got a bit of scrub to it. But, uh, yeah, it's really nice. It's obviously soft when you're painting the lather on, but when you're pressing down, it's a bit sort of scrubby.
You know, we've got it on there for the first part, so I don't sit in five, Gary. Oh, silver blues, don't talk to me about silver blues. I think that's one of the worst, uh, for me anyway, one of the worst Gillette blades. Obviously it depends on your beard I suppose, doesn't it? Right, six, sorry Gary, six it was on. I'm going to knock it down to four. See the dot between the five and the three. Was that many? Silver blues, you like the silver blues? Yeah. And Gary's going to use five and then three. Three seems to be a bit too mild for me. So cross the grey now, this way. Yeah, sharp edge is another one. The um, I think that's the yellows, isn't it? That's a good blade. Compared the uh, the slim to the fat boy, the fat boy um, feels a little bit more aggressive, a bit more blade feel. For me. Is that set and nine uh, sled head? Doesn't matter what uh, amount of growth you've got. Oh, you've got a case with your fat boy, very nice. What was it, Damon, you were saying about Razor Blade Club? Yeah. Don't know if that's how the razor should be, or... There was some sort of something wrong with the... All oh, right. On eBay, Damien says, with free shipping. As I said, this uh, scentless sack reminds me of uh, of the um, soap commander, not soap commander, Shaver Heaven, green tobacco. How much does uh, North Shore razors charge for a refurb? Mike. It's like you've got the uh, sweet spot with the uh, Rockwell. You know, I had a um, Gillette Tech, that was my first razor, but it's just, just too mild. Oh, the price includes shipping in, yeah. Perhaps when I've got money to spare, I might send it off.
And he's talking about Spencer. Is Spencer here? Or is he trying to get him in here? Let me try shaving the opposite side of the face with the opposite hand. What like that you mean? I think that's a little bit awkward, isn't it? If you can use both, then use both. Don't let the um, people are talking about the what's a good shaving bowl, but the uh, the timeless one. I think they're saying like twelve dollars. I think plastic one, quite durable. Looks like. Whether they make a a second version for a IMCDB, I don't know. I think he wanted uh, the same bowl, but uh, just lower sides, so he's not hitting the sides of the bowl with his um, brush. I will one day, uh, but uh, I think I just got myself on the chin there. <laughs> Due to my shave, and I think that's the condition of my skin at the time. So, cheers. I'm throwing it down myself, look. One of my manners. Hmm, thanks very much, Adam. We so serve something you could put on your face before shaving to prevent any weepers. Yeah, what could go wrong, Mike? Drinking alcohol and shaving at the same time? Can't see anything going wrong there, can you? Yeah, sometimes I, <clears throat> on my areas here, I use the uh, Sudacrem to heat, it's an antiseptic healing cream. I don't know if you used to watch, um, I don't think you make videos anymore, it's um, Tom, Thomas Burgess. I don't know if he's still got his channel up, but uh, now and again he used to, he, in between shaves he used to do shots and That was uh, entertaining to watch. Pick up time! No, I didn't say that. Paul will uh, do me for copyright. <laughs> Sorry Paul if you're watching this. <laughs> Yeah, and he was shaving with a straight razor as well. Thomas Burgess.
And I'm just going to feel around any areas I'm really concerned about. But, uh, just under the chin there. Leaving it on set and floor. As I said, I'm not going against the grain, so. Oh yeah, no, yeah, he's always on the old wine. Red wine. Good choice for red over white. This stuff is really good, this, oh, thick, slick. So with Nomeo, we don't know how much he's drank before he starts the show, do we? You see me open the bottle there, you see, you, you know roughly how much I've drunk. But, uh, I may have had a half a bottle before I even pressed the record button. Many of you tried that uh, trick I told you about, the uh, shave and scuttle. Putting the soap around the sides and not uh, at the bottom. Oh yeah. Dip my fingers in, a bit more slickness. Oh yeah, you've got to have a drink if you do your uh, birthday shave. Am I standing too close to the uh, camera? No, me. Do you want me to step back a bit? Is that better for you? For the uh, Bowler Brothers, Balm were quite not quite good as well. No cow, sell cow. Hey Kirk, you're here. Nice to be here doing this. Hope you're having a good weekend, mate. I think I'm going to stop there, actually. 
as you can see I'm on, to, on the way to Weeper City here. Hey Kirk, look at the brush I'm using. It's your Facebook group brush. Very nice. I'm just going to rinse my face. to the lather out. You've still not been to see a barrister and man yet, Slithead? I don't remember got a while back now you said you were you had an invite from Barrister and Man to visit. Okey-dokey, wash that off. that shave their faces and uh, help with their uh, makeup application. Now use a cold water. Soap in the ears. with the lather. Hopefully now I've washed it off it will die down. It's really annoying when you really love a, the scent of a soap and the performance of a soap you get a reaction from it. That was actually a short shave actually compared to what I've done in the past. As I said, you can come and go as you please. I'll play the, apply the Thayer's Lemon now. Just got uh, an aloe vera formula in it. It's not that red, I think the camera just shows it up worse than it is. The uh, many my shows I do during the week, I mean the recorded ones.
So what I'm using now for my live shows is obviously I've got to use my iPhone to use the um, YouTube app. But uh, I've got a um, Sony Handycam that I use to record during the week. And then uh, that records to a mini or microwave SD card, which I then transfer to my um, laptop and then I edit the video through that. I use um, shortcuts to uh, put my videos together and then that saves to my laptop and then I transfer it into the uh, YouTube uploader. So once that's dry enough we'll go for the styles of the shave, pre-shave, this is the, uh, the old Phoenix Prickly Pear ATG. Razor was the uh, slim adjustable. That was on set and six for the first pass and then uh, four for the second in sort of touch ups. Third pass, whatever you want to call it. Razor blade was the Gillette Nasset. Brush, let me just wash the brush out. It's the uh, old Cohabo uh, Facebook group Brush I One, made by uh, that darn Rob. Lovely little brush, perfect handle size, lovely to hold, nice knot, good backbone. I think that's why we gave her that sort of short loft. I want you to grow some sideburns, do you? Sled head, some thigh warmers, as my mate Rob used to call them. Uh, then it's the uh, Thayers, just use that. Soap was the Irish Cabano from the uh, Lather Brothers. Tobacco and Tweed, which is that, that soap there. Very nice. The Thayers is dry, now I'll put on the Post-shaped balm, which came from um, the Shaving Time Company here in the UK. Check on the floor. If you want to know if you'll be able to see the, probably not. Use a little bit like that. Got some menthol in it. Very nice. It's a little bit thicker than uh, some sort of pasty. So I don't need any aftershave after that. I do have the uh, fine clean vetiver. So hopefully, got a nice sort of not strong kind of scent. So. About four again, but the uh, the menthol is coming through over the top. The Gaelic tweed is that the um, wet shaving products, isn't it? We do have a Sterling Sharp Dressed Man, which is a Creed Green Irish Tweed scent. Put a little one on the bottom of the chin there. Apart from that, it's pretty good. I 
they do two versions, don't they? Uh, wet shaving products. Is there a vegan one and a tallow one, I think? Just drying the brush off on the towel. Oh yeah, Formula T and Rustic. I miss uh, Caps videos. He used to use uh, wet shaven products a lot. Nice clean and dry again. Yes, the um, shop dress man. I think they do a, uh, a glacier one, is it? Or a menthol one? Is it uh, frozen tundra or something like that it's called? So any more questions? Is any, uh, do you have any ideas of uh, what you want me to do in future videos? Eskimo. Eskimo tuxedo, yeah. I'm getting me uh, margaritas in the Arctic. That's more of sort of meta lemon menthol, I think, isn't it? Never had a margarita, so. Yeah, you got to see it. All right, thank you, Adam. Wants to see an electric shave. Yeah, you won't be seeing it on this channel. I think it's Sierra Papa. Yeah, just I guess some some soap formulas don't work for everybody. Eskimo tuxedo, yeah. Yeah, somebody did you get my um I did return your message, uh Golden Steel. And since you bought a Mark Free shave, yeah. Um, God, I, I did send you a message. You'll have to look through the uh, my replies. I think there's a uh, top of the chain, which is in Canada, and I think Pasteur's. I think they were the two in uh, New York. I think they stock uh, Wickham's. Oh, we're off. Keen edge. Yeah, so we've got no more questions, no more ideas for, for uh, future videos, apart from silly ones like the Mark III. <laughs> I won't be spending no money on a Mark III. Hey, what's here? Shave it, shave. I might do. I'm going to do a couple of shaves off off camera with the uh, with the ropes because that's not cushiony, but it's very slick. Perfect for a uh, shave it or straight razor shaves. Half menthol and half regular. And sled head one. <laughs> well, I see my wife shave me. God, I might have a face left, I don't think. She can't shave her only legs, let alone shave my face. She put some um, cream for her legs the other day, you know, to, for hair removal. Not a good idea. Didn't work. Waste of money. Right, so we're just over the hour. My battery's just told me that I'm low, so I started on 100%. Yeah, I know. 
She can shave her legs, but she uh, she won't use a DE. Yeah, thanks Tony for joining us, mate. Sorry about the weeper. I'll keep my finger there, shall I? And a boo boo, as uh, Mr. Rib says. I've got to stick to here somewhere. Let's do that, shall we? Thanks, you, Sensi. Thank you, Sensi, for joining us. Enjoyed our conversation last night, this morning, whenever it was. Yeah, late last night. <laughs> Now I've got a leakage. That's done it. Thank you, David. Thanks for joining us, mate. Hope you enjoy the rest of your Sunday. And uh, look look forward to uh, seeing you again very soon. I know it was about a month ago when I'd done my last live shave. Uh, last time it was due. Thank you, Damien. Thanks for joining us, mate. I went down the car and didn't really feel like uh, doing a sh show video. Thank you, Slow Head. Thanks for joining us, mate. And Zed Lopez Steel. Thank you. Keen Edge. Thank you very much for joining us, mate. Really enjoy conversing with you all. It's been a bit uh, thin on the ground these old uh, live shaves. I think the last person that done live shave was Kerry, I think, last weekend. Thanks, Frank. Thank you, Naomi. Thanks for joining us. Hope you enjoy the rest of your time in Belgium. With your time off anyway from work. Don't work too hard, mate. Enjoy the rest of your drink that you've got there. I'll go off now and uh, get some dinner together for myself and the children. Sorry, Thomas, you just come in there right at the end there. You can always watch it back after. All right, goodbye, everybody. Thanks for joining us. And uh, see you next time in the Suffolk Shaver bathroom. Cheers. Bye.